everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a little bit before 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, December 20th, 2015. We're going to take a look at what happened this past week, a rather ugly week. We sort of knew, um, well, never mind, we'll talk about it in a second. But first, I need to remind you, as always, that the website and the video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, the week started out... Uh, okay, really, we knew that we were down uh, on on Friday. We were getting close to a level that should be considered support. And though we started the week with weakness, we click quickly can't excuse me, I can't talk. We quickly rebounded and headed back up for our resistance line up here, which we took out uh, on Wednesday, stayed over it on Thursday. But Friday, we gave the week's gains back. As a matter of fact, if you look at this on a weekly candle, if I can zoom in quickly enough for you here, there you go. There's the week. Slightly down for the week. There's our gains, and then we give it all back. So if we're looking at this on a 30-minute chart, what it looks like is we got up over this line of resistance, and it looked pretty good, but that just did not uh, materialize in our hopes to see that turn into support. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to keep this line on the chart right here. Uh, again, I think whenever we get over this line, just like um, a couple of similar trend lines we've had in the past, I think that's when we uh, that's when we we start to go back up, and we should be making another trip up to 2100. Uh, we still have a, a 2188 target, and that is there because of this double bottom right here. There it is, right about 2188. But you know something? We knew this wasn't going to be easy because of all of this congestion that we had over here on the left side of of this double dip. And it just looks like we're getting, we're just getting kind of thrown to and fro in this area again. There's no real super clear-cut sense of direction right now. We go up, we reverse, we come back down, we reverse, we go back up, we reverse, we come back down, we reverse. And um, I think we're probably going to reverse this week and head back up. And I'll tell you why. Remember, I was mentioning that uh, when we made that nice move uh, up over this line on the 16th, I said, you know, guys, that looks like an ascending wedge to me. And if that is an ascending wedge, we'll zoom in on that a little bit more. If that is an ascending wedge, that's like a typhoon flag. In other words, it comes after an upwards move, and it's the last little get a gasp you might say of buying but it just gets weaker and weaker as it goes up and the tendency is it breaks down we broke down but what do you see that happened on friday well it looks like we broke down fairly hard we sold down all day we for about two-thirds of the day made a descending wedge which would be like an inverted typhoon flag. There it is. Resistance, support. There's our little midline just to kind of see if that if that plays out the way it seems to do so often and I think it does. There we got over the wedge, came back down, back tested it and where did we end on Friday? We ended at the apex of that wedge pattern almost to the penny. If this wedge does what wedges are supposed to do, that should be a short-term low. We should rally out of the gate. Now, you know, I'm always hesitant to say that on a Sunday afternoon with news cycles and everything, but that's, that's, what's, that's what's in the chart. The chart is making this look fairly clear that this is a wedge pattern with a breakout and then a pullback. 
So I'm going to stick my neck out and, uh, and, and make that call. I think we rally. Now, one thing that I did not point out because it wasn't abundantly clear, but I think I will in retrospect, um, we did have a line of support here at about 2047 that when it broke down, you could make a case that this might have been a head and shoulders top. Um, but I think what makes that not such an easy call is the fact that the left side of this over here was just not, it just, it, it, does, it just doesn't look that much like a head and shoulders when you look at it in the context of the chart. So if you kind of isolate it and forget what came over here, yeah, it looks like a head and shoulders top. And it certainly sort of behaved like one, too. And if you're wondering, yes, we made the minimum target from that pattern if we rely upon that as being a head and shoulders top. So going forward into the week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an extra line up here. I've got this one. That should be resistance. But even on a shorter term basis, I think this right here also. So as a first, um, what's the word I'm looking for? As a first sign of a positive move on the horizon, I'm going to make a, a this line right here, kind of a light pink color. There you go. So that'll be our first indication that, that we're getting ready to rally. This will be a more important indication. Now, where's the next level of support underneath us? Well, the next level of support is this line right here. And it is currently uh, in the 1980s. And it's in the 1980s all week long. It is descending. We've had one, two touches on this line. And if we back up a bit, we'll see that this line also lines up with some resistance that we saw back in July and August. So the week kind of stunk, really. Um, I mean, we, we saw a good thing happen. Going back on a 10-minute chart so we get a little bit better uh, view on things. We, we saw this bottom. We, we, we pretty much called that bottom. And we even called the breakout over this line. What failed was, was this line then not holding as support. Now you look at this gap that we had, this gap up on the 15th. Uh, we're actually underneath that gap right now. As a matter of fact, where we closed at about uh, 2005, we're, uh, we're, you know, not, not that far off from that previous low. So I still think, however, if we k keep an eye on this little wedge right here, let's see if that acts like a wedge. And let's see if that's, again, that would be like the inverse of what we saw back here. A nice up move, a wedge up. It breaks, sets the down move, a, a significant downward uh, pressure on Friday, sets up the descending wedge, and we get a back test to that apex. That would seem to indicate we, we should be at a short-term low. So, again, all I can say is that's what's in the chart. I can't guarantee you that's going to work. I wish I could, but those of you who have been uh, with sp500chart.com for a while know that that know that this is certainly worth making a note of because we've seen these patterns work quite a few times in the past so guys there's your video for the week of trading ending december 18th 2015 thanks for taking time out of your weekend uh, to watch this and as always thank you for your very very kind support take care